Well, let's give this a try. Shakespeare, Richard II. It's been a while since we've been out here uh, doing our bit. This is John of Gaunt, and he's speaking about King Richard. He thinks, I am a prophet, new inspired, and thus expiring, do foretell of him. His rash, fierce blaze of riot cannot last, for violent fires soon burn out themselves. Small showers last long, but sudden storms are short. He tires betimes, that spurs too fast betimes, with eager feeding, food, doth choke the feeder. Light vanity, insatiate cormorant, consuming means soon preys upon itself. This royal throne of kings, this sceptered isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself against infection and the hand of war, this happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone set in the silver sea, which serves it in the office of a wall or as a moat defensive to a house against the envy of less happier lands, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England, this nurse, this teeming womb of royal kings, feared by their breed and famous by their birth, renowned for their deeds as far from home for Christian service and true chivalry, as is the sulpicer in stubborn jewelry of the world's ransom, blessed Mary's son, this land of such dear souls, this dear, dear land, dear for her reputation through the world, is now leased out, I die pronouncing it, like to a tenement or pelting farm. England, bound in with the triumphant sea, whose rocky shore beats back the siege of watery Neptune, is now bound in with shame. With inky blots and rotten parchment bonds, that England that was wont to conquer others, has made a shameful conquest of itself. Ah, would the scandal vanish with my life? How happy, then, were my ensuing death. Yes, yes. Richard II. Shakespeare.